So what were your expectations of the bomb this night? I was expecting it's going to be fun since uh, there's so many of us that were going. And uh, it seems fun because I've done it before. Uh, just this past Good Friday, I, I hiked all the way to the crosses. And I thought that was already Mount Lam Lam, but I, I guess it's not. So, and like I said, I thought it was going to be fun because, you know, you guys were there. A bunch of our classmates were there. Our professor was there, you know. I, I, I looked at it like some kind of field trip, but uh, I guess it was something different. It ended up being different. I didn't expect that it would be a crazy, memorable, painful hike. Well, I'm not really an experienced hiker. I've been to Seagull a few times, but I've never really hiked Mount Lam Lam. I mean, I've heard people hiking to Mount Lam Lam, and I, I thought it would be easy because people go every year on Good Friday. I sort of regret it after going on the second half of the hike. I it's like thinking, I should have gone back. I mean, really? Really? We would actually all ran out of like, like water and food supply, and towards the end, we were all just tired, exhausted, and dehydrated. And I felt I was gonna faint, seriously. Like, the last stop that we had, I laid down on the grass just to rest, you know, just to cool down. And then, when I got up, it was like my heart was throbbing, it was pounding, and... <laughs> I couldn't believe how hard it was, all the mud, going uphill, rock climbing, sliding down, and all that. I was really exhausted. I would say I have a lot of memories from that hike, but one that I can't forget and the most memorable is when Roberto saved my life. I mean, I saved a girl and I, uh, I think I saved like two girls from falling off the side of the cliff. We were walking up the hill and I slipped on a really steep hill and Roberto just saw me and he picked me up and threw me across the grass. I mean, I saved a girl and I, uh, I think I saved like two girls from falling off the side of the cliff. Yes, and I just can't forget that because, you know, I think I would have gotten really hurt if Roberta was in there. So that's probably the most memorable one. I was burnt and I hurt. I hurt bad. I don't know if I still have these sunburns, but man, like my sh burning, dude. Like, seriously, I had like almost like black eyed. My girlfriend thought I was smoking weed or smoking crack after the hike because my eyes were really deep. They were black and they were, you know, I was already burnt and my eyes were red. I felt like I couldn't do anything anymore. I felt that the hike itself, it was worth like a week of my cardio that I do. Like I normally jog, but it was always something different. And uh, yeah, I was just really exhausted. I was burnt out. I can feel the heat in my body and everything. I was just done for it. I was done for the day. Not, seriously, I thought I was gonna faint. Like towards, uh, when we were heading down already. I thought I couldn't do it anymore, and I and I, and I know I was just super tired. And again, I, like I said, you know something's going wrong when I start praying. And I normally don't do that, but I was praying because I thought I was gonna make it. I would totally do it again. I would say that that hike inspired me and really, you know, made me want to be more active. And I would definitely do it again, definitely. Um. Talk to me in like a few months, maybe. You know, get in better shape. Remember to bring like more water. Bring like a horse with me. Maybe I'll go. Yeah, definitely I'll go. Be better prepared. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it again. But I guess I should be more prepared next time. You know, Ex expect the worst. I guess just expect the worst because I wasn't expecting it's gonna be that bad, and I only brought like three three water with me and I thought it was enough but apparently it's not because we got lost but yeah I'll definitely do it again it's fun it's good exercise and plus uh, you know especially when you're going with a lot of people it makes it fun so. oh would I do it again uh yeah I'd do it again uh, no probably not I wouldn't do it again I got I lost I lost uh, good shoes I got three dead toenails my socks ripped Vivaco told us to always travel in a straight line to to actually get out of the place and uh, he actually went in a circle a couple of times which kind of freaked me out but at the end of it all the experience was pretty good um, now f this hike now f 